And beginning our broadcast, the passage of the 2018 Agricultural Improvement Act was cause for much celebration. It's better known as the 2018 Farm Bill, and the legislation includes funding for things like crop insurance, SNAP benefits, and more. But many in agriculture are particularly excited about the inclusion of one alternative crop, hemp. Now, hemp has garnered controversy due to its similarities to marijuana, but proponents say it's harmless and perfect for Nebraska. Within the over 1,000 pages of the 2018 Farm Bill, there it is in black and white. Industrial hemp is now a legal crop to grow. The bill removes hemp from the controlled substance list, a place where it had been since the 1930s. You can thank its more notorious cousin marijuana for that, a plant which is still illegal to grow at the federal level due to its use as a recreational drug. Both hemp and marijuana come from the cannabis family, but the psychoactive properties present in marijuana are basically non-existent in hemp. UNL's Dr. Ishmael Dwykat has been researching hemp at the university for three years. He, along with some Nebraska farmers, see it as a promising crop with a number of uses. You could use it for fiber, you could use it for a grain. It has so many beneficial in terms of medical uh, treatments for so many different diseases and can be used for uh, arthritis, for uh, epilepsy, for diabetes, for uh, help you to sleep. In addition, the grain, you could use it for oil, you could use it for food, for uh, human food, for animal feed. And the stock we could use for fiber to make clothes, to make fiber uh, wood, you could make concrete out of it. In fact, hemp can be used in the manufacturing of roughly 25,000 products. And now that it's not on Schedule 1, people are more willing to talk about it. Quite Bill Accord is president of the Nebraska Hemp Association and believes the crop can be a key player in revitalizing rural Nebraska and giving new hope to the family farm. Nebraska farmers need this. I mean, we're very, our biodiversity in crops and agriculture is, is, is not good in Nebraska. We basically don't have biodiversity. We've got soybeans and corn. We need biodiversity hemp could do that. Hemp, hemp can be grown. It's a short growing season and you can grow food crops right after. You don't have to summer, summer feral. Dr. Dwykat first became interested in hemp during the drought of 2012. He realized the crop's potential when he was driving through the state and saw that many corn and soybean fields were brown and dying. However, the patches of wild hemp that had been ignored were still thriving. This ditch weed has been here for the best hundred years. It's overcome so many obstacles in terms of disease and insect and drought and year in and year out these plants keep coming back which means that they are adapted to here to our environment and not only to Nebraska they are adapted to the Midwest area. He says if a farmer can successfully grow corn or soybeans they can grow hemp. Seed to harvest takes about four months. It's fairly resistant to pests and hemp can even help detoxify the soil. The hemp plant is able to absorb all the bad chemicals from the soil. So we call it bioremediation. The Russian government uses hemp to clean up the soil after the Chernobyl disaster. They use hemp to clean up the soil because the roots is able to absorb the bad chemical like cesium and modify it into the blend. It grows like a weed, <laughs> you know, uh, to make a little joke. Um, but it, it does, it grows well. I mean, it, it grows under very adverse conditions, but it'll grow almost anywhere. It's a perfect food. You could live on it. You might get a little bored, but you could live on hemp seed.